Hello and welcome to Shredder Zoo. Today we are taking a look at a very strange looking creature, unlike anything alive today. This is the Chalicotherium, found in Europe, Africa and Asia during the Miocene Epoch around 20 million years ago. It survived until the end of the Miocene around 5 million years ago, but may have still been around in the early Pliocene until about 3 million years ago. It is an odd looking herbivore with long clawed forelimbs and shorter weight bearing hind limbs. It was first described by Johann Jacob Kopp in 1883 and he named it Chalicotherium, meaning pebble beast after its pebble like teeth. But classifying this animal gave early paleontologists a real headache. It looks like a cross between a horse and a giant ground sloth, and there was confusion as to which group it should belong. But after careful analysis of its fossils, we now know that it is from the order of the Perissodactyla, which means it's an odd toed ungulate. Other members of this order are horses, tapirs, and the rhinoceros. The Chalicotherium had long forelimbs that ended in large claws. The claws were so large that when Chalicotherium walked on all fours, they had to be folded to face backwards so that it was actually the knuckles that bore the animal's weight. Most of the weight of the animal would be taken on the shorter rear limbs. When Chalicotherium stopped to feed upon a plant, it would lean back to support itself on its hind legs while using the longer forearms to gain additional reach into the tree canopy. This is why Chalicotherium was careful with its claws when it was walking, as these claws allowed it to reach around the branches and pull them down towards the mouth, just like the large ground sloths. The hip and pelvis area of the Chalicotherium shows calluses and increased wear, indicating that the animal would sit for long periods of time, probably while eating. It is very likely that the Chalicotherium would have fed upon the softer vegetation and possibly fruits from high up, rather than the tougher vegetation that might be found closer to the ground. This is because once the animal reached adulthood, it would actually lose its front teeth, the incisors and canines. So it would have to rely on its lips, gums and possibly its tongue to strip the vegetation from the branches. Once it had its food in its mouth, the Chalicotherium could grind it up using its pebble-like molar teeth that give the creature its name. The Chalicotherium was one of the larger animals living during the Miocene, standing about 2.6 meters high at the shoulder. It probably had little to fear from predators of the time, except possibly the bear dog known as Amphicycon, who would have probably picked off the young, old or sick. Well that's all for today, thank you so much for watching, I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know by leaving a like and a comment. Links to my Twitter, Patreon and Discord server will be down below in the video description. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I really hope to see you next time here at Shredder Zoo. Goodbye.